painting flower pot craft today. I'm super excited to get my hand painted and make a really cool thing for Mother's Day. Yes, this craft you can give to your mom in celebration of Mother's Day or just to have a really nice craft to add to your fridge. Let's get started, come on. Okay, so you guys should have gotten your handy dandy uh, directions in your craft kit. So we are gonna get started first by painting our hand green. So you should have gotten some paint or you can use your paint that you have at your house. That is totally cool too. So first we're gonna get a little messy. And so you're gonna open your green paint and you are gonna paint your hand. So let's see, I'm gonna paint this hand because I'm right-handed and it'll be a little easier on me. So you guys can go ahead and just paint your hand. Ooh, this feels really cool. Do, 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 do. Oh man, this is so awesome. And you know what? If you don't wanna paint your hand, you can totally trace your hand and color it. That is really cool too. That is totally a great option. Because sometimes we don't like to get messy and that's okay too. But today I'm feeling like getting green. <laughs> okay, so it looks like my hand is pretty well painted. And now you're ready to put it on the piece of paper. <gasps> And you're gonna wanna kinda press it down a little bit, make sure your hands got all nice and on there. And then you're going to lift your hand up. Whoa, so cool. Now my finger paint is on my paper. And then if mom or dad are around, you definitely wanna wipe off your hand. So I'm gonna wipe mine off. Do, 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 do. People are gonna ask me why I have a green hand. So, and I'll be like, you'll have to check out this craft. It is so cool. So after you kind of clean your hand off, I'll go wash my hands after we're done. Okay, so you have your awesome green hand on your piece of paper. And now you can use the other paint that you have in your kit to make flowers. So I am gonna make some flowers with mine. And you can use, you probably wanna rinse your paintbrush off uh, to do this or get another paintbrush. So, uh, do you guys know what color this is? Blue! And so I am going to do blue flowers for mine. So I'm gonna put a circle at the top of each of my fingers. And how many fingers do we have? We have five. You guys wanna count them with me? One, two, three, four, five. So I did my circle and then I'm gonna get a little creative and I'm gonna just do like, whew, just like like a little motion. But you guys can do whatever you like. If you wanna do different colors, if you have more colors at home, you guys can do that too. Cause mom is gonna love this for Mother's Day. Or you guys can give it to your grandma or just keep it at home for a cool fridge painting. Awesome. So while that dries, we're gonna put our paint down. And while that dries, you guys are gonna get your flower pot here and we're gonna cut it out. And so you may need your parents or care, uh, your care guardian to help you cut this out. And so we're gonna do that because we always wanna have safety when using scissors. We're gonna cut, 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 cut. Cutting, cutting, cutting. We're cutting the paper. 
cut in the paper. Okay, so once you guys have that cut, uh, you guys can color it any color that you want. Usually pots are brown. So you can color your pot brown or any really cool color. I didn't color mine today. Um, if I had a choice, I would color it pink. And then you're gonna take your handy dandy glue, which you can use uh, liquid glue or stick glue. I'm gonna use liquid glue today. And you're gonna put it on the back of the pot. And we're gonna glue it down really good. And your hand should be drying on your paper too. And you're gonna glue it underneath your hand, just like it's a, a flower in the pot. And then also in your kit, you should have got this really cute poem. It says, I've made some Mayflowers with my finger and thumb, so you'll have these memories for all the years to come. <gasps> so cute! So then you guys can put glue on the back of the saying and glue it onto your pot. What a great keepsake for down the road, and you guys can see your artwork from years past. And then you're gonna glue it on your pot just like so. And then you're finished. And so you can totally add stickers on here or jewels. Be creative, it's super fun. And that's all we have today, guys. I hope your moms enjoy your Mayflower pots. And I hope you guys tune in next time. Bye.